being part of the Olympics and having success is a dream. Um, all the country's best athletes have come together to play each other at a world stage and uh, yeah, that's one of the pinnacles of a hockey career is to be able to play in the Olympics. I september 2014 gav det internationella ishockeyförbundet Sydkorea automatisk kvalificering till OS-turneringen. Ett stort steg för koreansk hockey som aldrig tidigare deltagit i ett AVM eller OS. When we got the okay from the IHF, the, there was tears of joy. You know, the staff worked extremely hard uh, to prepare a four-year plan on how we're going to develop Korean hockey, um, which was and then what we're going to do and what we're going to who we're going to hire and what was our plan to so, to convince the IIHF that we are capable of uh, participating in the Olympics. Having the goal and being a part of the Olympics uh, helped change a lot of things in Korean hockey. And uh, uh, from staff to equipment to our mentality, our, our physical conditioning. So a lot of things have changed and a lot of things have changed for the better. Med endast 233 här spelare att välja bland så har landslagsledningen fått jobba hårt för att få ihop ett slagkraftigt lag. We looked everywhere. We looked under rocks, we looked under everywhere for hockey players because as you know the our our player base isn't very large. So we we scoured the world looking for players and and seeing if they were be eligible to play and uh, this is what we came up with and, and there are not too many to tell you the truth, not too many. That are playing outside. I OS ska 23 spelare dra åt samma håll, oavsett ålder, bakgrund eller vilket land man är född i. För spelarnas födelseland är också en viktig fråga. Hur många spelare födda och uppvuxna utanför Korea kan man ta med i ett landslag utan att tappa lagkänsla? I OS kommer lag bestå av sex nordamerikaner utan koreansk härkomst. Those players, they've been here before I was here. They came over in their early in their careers and established themselves in the in the community, in the culture, in the uh, hockey community, um, and adapted very well. And they've been here for for many years. For them to come here and make that transition, it's been very easy. So it's uh, Korea is very westernized now, if I want to say, but with the the Korean culture still mentality still there. So I think one of our players has been here for eight nine years already. And so they've been here a long time. They spend more time in Korea than do they do back in home. Like other countries, their athletes spend more time in North America than they do in their countries. So who's the imports? <laughs>